Today's hot topic is a really special one. It's all about Branded, which is one of Asia's leading producers of impactful events. And we're fortunate today to have Branded, uh, Branded's founder and CEO, Jasper Donat, here with us to share some of the latest news about his company and the upcoming All That Matters event in Singapore later this month. Jasper, welcome to the Edge of NFT, man. Good morning, good evening, good night, good good, good edif- everything to everyone. Um, it's it's great to hear that you've had two Brits on today. It's two two fantastic accents to uh, to to level everything out today. Indeed, sir. Indeed, yeah. Thanks for for joining so early as well. Um, so yeah, what what is going on in your world, man? You got some really cool stuff coming up this month. Yeah, just over two weeks time, we're going to be welcoming a couple of thousand people to to Singapore. Um, we've been doing this for it's our seventeenth year. There's a lot of other events going on this the, the same week as us, but we're the old boys. Uh, we bring Web two and Web three together, and there's nothing else like it. Um, if you can imagine bringing the music industry together with the gaming industry together with the sports guys, the, the uh, marketing guys and, and the digital entertainment people. And then all of a sudden we're layering in this wonderful thing called Web3 um, uh, under the name of All That Matters. Uh, and uh, Web3 Matters is our newest newest baby. So we're bringing Web2 to Web3. I keep calling it Web5. No one else finds that as funny as I do, um, but uh, but yeah, we're looking we're looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. We've got a lot of music playing as well. We've got about thirty bands coming. Uh, the the whole week is being opened by the wonderful Yatsu from Animoca Brands that everyone knows. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a lot of fun, and and hopefully we'll be seeing our wonderful new friends from Edge of NFT with us there. Yeah, can't wait, man. Um, yeah, it, uh, when you said, uh, do you want to take a 19-hour direct flight to Singapore? I was like, yeah, sign me up for that. Well, it's fun. Well, it's the Grand Prix week. It's the Singapore Grand Prix at the end of the week. And, and that's, that is a, it's a, it, you don't have to be a grease monkey to, to like the Grand to, to, to like the event. It's, it's, a, it's a bucket list event, right? You've got, the, you've got the cars, but you've also got the, the entertainment. They have they closed down Singapore. It's a night race, so they have bands playing all over the place. And and it was once said that the 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 artist lineup used to be targeted at forty five year old guys. Well, I was a forty five year old guy at the time, but um, it's fun. It's a uh, it's just a great 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 fun three day event at the end of our week. So we start the week, uh, and, and then and then I get to relax and have fun on the weekend. Yeah, there you go. Can I go? go ahead. I'll go. Yeah, Jay, J- mate. There's, there's a, there's a. Uh, I've got a, spa- a space in my house for you. I'm going to change my name to Do- Jay Dozzle, and uh, and then and then we go to the pub. All right, I'm in. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, actually, I'm, I'm moderating a, a panel on the main stage on the metaverse. So, Jamie, if if uh, you want to come join me, let's let's do it, man. Get over there. Oh. I'll let the family know later and we'll see whether I get like the no or yes. Get, 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 get the clearance. Yeah, how much trouble you can get yourself into. Jasper. We'll t- t- if you tell the family that, that we've the theme of this year's event, um, I mean, the event is called All That Matters, but the theme is All That Matters. Um, and I must say, I was, I, it was, I've registered metamatters.com and I even own metamatters.com, but we had that before a certain person changed the name of his company and it's not worth doing an event called facebook facebook.com right so um but yeah all that matters is the theme so so jamie you're absolutely welcome i am appreciating the classic british puns this is <laughs> you guys are having a good time it gets, it gets uh, better. jeff we could just turn off our, our video our mute let's just guys go at it for like 10-15 minutes <laughs> so, yeah, yeah i know right so Jasper, I'm curious. So you have this this wealth of experience with all that matters, um, the, the, it, music and sports and entertainment, all these other uh, tracks, some of which haven't really made a, uh, a meaningful bridge over to Web3. What's the feedback you're getting from folks uh, that are going to be there here uh, at the end of the month? You know, the first year we brought gaming into the event, they were the cool kids. Hmm. And I think that's what the what the uh, our existing communities are really looking forward to is seeing a bunch of people they've never met before. Because normally, you know, you go to you go to an event, you see you see. Uh, look, it, we are calling it the Great Reconnect, right? Because this is the first time everyone's had a chance to come back together and then don't have to wear face masks. And, oh, 
and they can that's proof that i was getting up at 5 55 <laughs> and, and 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 yeah that they can drink beer again and they can hang out with each other again and and but this time at, at some point there's going to be these really cool kids that they don't know walking into the room and it's going to be like wow and i say this a lot but it's a little bit like a school disco organizing a school disco because everyone gets like kind of bashful going like oh, oh who's that and then and then they start talking and they end up hump, humping each other's legs and swapping business cards and making digital babies and stuff and and so yeah it's it's going to be it's going to be fun um but yeah the, this whole the, 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 there are a number of the industries that are you know you look at the music business um everyone's talking about nfts but does that many people understand what they are and how to use them and and what the you know I, I I'm not you know I'm I'm definitely web two when it comes to this, um, but we had we, when we did Music Matters last year we had Ed Shapiro, uh, the wonderful lawyer from Reed Smith, and someone had said to me said to him how do I launch an NFT or something, and and he said look don't do it for the money do it do it for a community build if you make money on the back of it as well fantastic so we're going to be there's going to be stuff like that that we want the new the new kids to be impair, imparting their knowledge on the on the more traditional people but 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 also the brief to them all is is don't i, I don't want to know what you're doing in the future don't don't give me a three letter acronym about something that's going to be brilliant in a year's time give me something that you've done that that you've done now Tell me what worked. Tell if it didn't work. Tell me, and how can I learn from that and take it into my business today? And so, so I think that there is going to be a lot of people. You know, the, the music industry here, everyone's embracing it, but they've always got like one SVP of whether it's NFT, crypto, and stuff like that. And and, and so it's going to, that, that those people are going to be really important, bridging bridging those gaps as well. well that's yeah, that's so too. awesome. I, I'd love to dive a little bit deeper for a moment on the Gaming Matters Academy, right? Because we got we got a gamer on the show, and um, you know, you guys have. I'm looking. You have Blizzard. You have Epic Games. These are companies we've already mentioned on the show, and and you're doing this major educational push, which. Um, we just find really important. That's what we did with NFTLA. And, and you know, uh, it's been a pleasure getting to know you over the last few months and, and you know, experiencing your ethos around bringing everyone together the same way that, that we try to do. Um, talk a little bit about the Academy and what people could experience by, by going through the Gaming Academy or one of the other academies that you're producing. Sure. So, so um when you have the name matters in your name in your it, the, the word matters in your name you kind of have to walk the walk and talk the talk so we've always had we've always thought that if we've got these incredible leaders global leaders in the room be, on stage being very clever talking about the future of whatever industry um let's 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 get them backstage after and get them to meet the next generation and whether that's whether that's cr young creators on the, you know, in, in the online space, if that's young musicians, if that's young uh, sports people or people trying to get into the sports industry, and 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 similarly the gaming industry, let's let's give them some money can't buy advice on running careers and and running businesses and stuff like that. So, so for the for for the we, we just ran a gaming academy online for the last six months. None of it was about how, how to how to win at gaming, how to be a good gamer. It was more about how to, how to, how to run a business. Um, similarly, with the music, uh, our music academy, for 17 years now, I've stood up in front of about 200 musicians in a room and said, hands up, who's got a business plan? And not once in 17 years has anyone gone. They're, they're looking at me like, but I'm in a band. I've got, I've got a new tattoo. I've, I've got I've spiky hair. And then... We say, okay, so what's your vision? Where do you want to be in five years' time? Oh, I want to be the biggest rock and roll band in India. Brilliant. How are you going to get there? And then we start just teaching them about how to have a vision and how to run a bit, how to, how to think about a business and how to have a plan. So, so the academies are, are very much business driven, um, and and we do end up with some really cool people. We don't when it's live. We don't tend to film it, which is which sounds a bit strange because this information that comes across is so important. But a lot of our speakers really go to the heart and they really do talk about some very personal things that they may not want to have broadcast to the outside world and stuff so so you know it's not necessarily sex drugs and rock and roll but but you know it's 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 really cool stuff so yeah we're, we're actually doing three academies we're doing one for the arts industry the music industry and the sports industry for sport in this part of the world um it's not a cool career at all 
if you think about it, if you're in the US or the UK or Europe, you know, any, any of those countries where you want to work in the sports business, your parents think it's the coolest thing on the planet because they're going to get free tickets for shit, right? Um, but if, if you're in, in some, most parts of Asia, but maybe Northeast and Southeast, but you know, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, if you go to your parents and say, I want to work in the sports industry, mom, they're like, so sweet. And, 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 and you're encouraged to go and be an accountant or something. So, and, 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 you know, not being culturally wrong here. It's, 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 a, it's a thing that the sports industry is just, it's not credible yet. So what we're trying to do is, is create credibility in sport. Gaming's next. You know, can you imagine a kid t- telling his parents he wants to work in the, he, he or she wants to work in the, in the gaming industry? It, ha- it, it, it just, you know, so, so, so we're trying to help at that point, you know, make credibility. Now, that's putting a thimble under a waterfall, but it's, you know, it's, it's, and it's really good fun. And I have to say, the speakers at the academies have way more fun at the academies than they do on the main stage because they get to talk about themselves. Oh, Jamie, I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking you could have a serious case of FOMO because you're in all these different areas, my friend, in your in your career. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's cool hearing you talk about the the um the the um like the workshops or just bringing those people together because like that's how I started in my career. Like to be totally honest, like somebody came into my school when I was like 14 and talked a bit. Was like, oh, you know, you can design cars, and I was like, what? And, you know, and, and it set me on the path to where I am now. And, and I've been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to do some of those things where, you know, we've been able to talk to that younger generation coming through, coming out of college. And and, and, and I really appreciate that you don't film it because I think having been that person talking to a group of people, you can connect with them when you don't feel like you're kind of on stage or whatever, right? You can kind of, you can in the you can flow, you can, you can get into questions. It's a much better way to like help people and try and like give some of the wisdom that you you may have or hopefully have it also allows the audience to ask personal questions as well and yeah. also again in, there's a it's a cultural thing that in a lot of countries in this part of the world you're not encouraged to ask questions when you're at school because it means that you didn't understand um and so if, if we say to people that you're in a safe place Chatham House, no one's going to repeat this out. You know, it's, it, you get some wonderful things. We had Linkin Park's tour manager joined us um, a couple of weeks or a couple of months after uh, Chester Bennington had sadly uh, passed on. And I, I thought he was going to blow us out. And he actually called me and said, look, can, can, can I still come? But I want to talk about mental health. Um, and, and it was the most moving session ever. And, and, and uh, but but it was an, an an opportunity for artists to really voice their concerns about how hard it is to be an artist. You know, you 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 create the great what you think is the greatest song of all time, and you release it, and no one listens to it. Mm. I mean, think about that. When, when when we're running businesses, Josh, you and I, you know, we, we we were in a meeting together yesterday. You know, working together. If someone says no to us, okay, that sucks, but that's the company right it's not they're not saying no to josh and jasper um we can we can switch off if you're in any creative art and someone says no to you how do you switch the, how do you divorce yourself from yourself so anyway so that, that's some of the stuff we're trying no, to, it, it, to really it's, help it the wellness side of things is really important we're gonna have a wellness track at nftla and i think you know web3 burnout just burnout in general and the current sort of uh pace of of this world is is really critical. Um, I just watched the the new Elvis uh, movie. Great movie. Really sort of showed him as a human being um, instead of like the icon that we know him as. And um, highly recommend it. Um, really excited. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Jasper, so excited to be part of of this event. Encourage everyone to snag some tickets. We'll release a, a code for ten percent off. Um, for everyone uh, that wants to come to Singapore and hang out with, with me, you, and who knows, maybe Jamie, maybe Jay Dizzle himself is going to make an appearance. J- um, we'll Jamie, see. this this is a live invitation. If you if you do come, to, if you can come to Singapore, where are you? Are you based in the US or UK? I'm in Seattle. Se- Seattle, Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you make, if you come to, uh, if you come, I will put you on stage at one of our academies or somewhere, um, and and you will you will do some great things for a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Asian people. Right, man. Thank you. Live, live. <laughs> Appreciate that. 
let me get back to you. But if I can, I'll be there. Nice, nice. And that is uh, September 26th to the 28th. So just uh, coming up here in a few weeks. And Jasper, where should we send folks to, to make sure they can get all the details on this? Very simple. Just go straight to the website, allthatmatters.asia. Um, and everything is there. All our, I think there's 140 speakers, three stages, three academies, 30 bands. It's all, it's all, it's all on the website. Beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Uh, also, I uh, wanted to note for our listeners that we do have a little giveaway as well, and that's going to be two GA tickets to All That Matters. Uh, highly sought after event, highly sought after tickets. Jasper, thank you so much for the generosity there. And for our listeners, uh, keep an eye out on our socials for all the details that you need to get a chance at winning those tickets. So again, thank you, Jasper. Thanks for joining us, man. Well, good. No, I'm. I'm. Can't wait to. Can't wait to see uh, Josh and Jay and Jay and Jay Jay Diz, um, in <laughs> Singapore in two weeks' time. There it is. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, man. Talk to you soon. See you later. Talk real soon, buddy. Bye bye.